Guardian Home Inspection performing sewer line inspection for subject property 14608 Canal Street, Sherman Oaks, California 91411. The square footage is 1510. Built 1927 slash 1985, three bedroom, two bath. I'm going through a clean out located at the west side of the property. The property faces north and um, the sewer line should be headed towards the north side of the property, towards the, north, the front of the street. So, okay, um, let me start my counter all over. Down back to zero. Okay, so I have the bathroom, master bathroom water sink turned on. So the clean out is a four inch ABS. And I think right away it turns into clay here. Let's see if I can get over there. Alright, so this is clay pipe here um, that I see, which clay pipe is a good pipe. It lasts many, many years. Uh, sometimes the clay joints do get damaged, but uh, we'll see. So the object to this sewer line inspection is, you know, look for issues, tree root intrusion, cracked pipe, damaged pipe, improper uh, connections, things like that. Hopefully we don't find anything. Um, so the water is flowing down. There you go. Down that way. So I do have a skit on my camera, but you have a, um, a positive slope on your sewer line. Yeah, the water is just kind of trickling. There you go. Now I'm going to get better slope. I think that area is flowing. I do have a skit, so it does raise the, the camera head a little bit. But so far, the sewer line is looking pretty good. And then once I'm, as far as I can take it, I can trace the line to see where it ends. So this is all clay pipe. I don't see any issues here. So, uh, there's a little mi minimal joint offset. You see that on the bottom left um, and the top. So the the proximal pipe or the pipe close to us has maybe dipped down, and the distal pipe looks like it's lifted a little bit. Yeah, there's a little joint offset on that. Yeah. Ooh, there's a clean out in the front. Uh, maybe a test tee uh, somewhere. I don't know where that's located. I can look at it later if I need to. My camera has a radio frequency or it emits a radio signal that will be detected by a uh, locator that I have. So if I find any issues or any damage, I can locate it. Uh, there's a little joint offset there. Very minimal. Nothing to worry about. See some of that concrete base joint uh, may have gotten in. Joint steel. Still looks okay. Some of the some of the joints are a little displaced, but it's still flowing. Another little joint just, just displaced a little bit, uh, but I don't see any tree roots. Another one. See now we're getting uh, a, a little bit of slope here. Ninety-seven five. Sometimes it'll get hard to fish. Probably telling me it's getting closer to the city connection. And that appears to be the city saddle there. Yep. Yep. That's the city connection. So it looks okay. I'm going to turn off the water and come back dry. Let's see. There's some grimace there at the bottom. I think it's just build up. And it could be some joint uh, sealer that got in and now it's just kind of sitting there. 
uh, but that appears to be a city saddle. This is everyone else's waste, uh, but let me uh, go back. That's the city connection. I'll be. I'm gonna go flush the toilet real quick just to confirm. Be right back. the toilet and turn off the sink water. See, we should be getting a gush of water in a second. That's trouble. 100 feet out. And that's located at the city main. Yeah, so it took a few seconds to get out there um, just because of the distance. But, you know, I don't see any major issues here. Uh, there's some kind of buildup here at the distal end of your main sewer line at the city connection, but the water's still flowing. I don't see that creating a backup there. Um, and it kind of would be a long run for a short slide to get in there and dig that out and get rid of that little grimace on the bottom. And then uh, hydro jetting, I don't think we'll get rid of it. It looks like it's like a concrete based it's solid so it still should flow um, I don't think it's an issue there so at this point now I'm going to just retract my camera now I'm going to go back dry because I turned off the water and then just visualize the pipe going back see like I said you have a couple of joints that are offset but like I said it to, to go in there and repair those joints might be a little overkill it does seem to flow still And then it does seem to be a flat pipe, limited amounts of slope. Uh, so on that, see that you got minus seven, so that's good there. And I do have a skid on my camera, which lifts the camera head a little bit up, so uh, it might not be a true four, five degrees positive slope. Uh, it should be in the ones and zeros. Uh, you know, we like to see in the negative. Uh, but like I said, since I do have a skin on my camera, it lifts the camera head a little bit. And I just retract the back. Going slowly. This video might get a little boring. Pulling my camera head, uh, it's pulling the camera head level, and that's maybe the true degree there. Zero, four plus three, minus zero, minus one. So the good thing is, I didn't see any crack pipe, any tree intrusion, any blockage. So that's what I'm looking for. Uh, there's little joints that are offset and it's there, what can we do? Um, like I said, it, I don't think any plumber would recommend repairing those joints, it's just what it is. And just as a recommendation, never flush baby wipes down your toilet and or grease down your garbage disposal. Limit the food waste you got to, uh, Put down your garbage disposal to that clog your pipes. And I'm going to finish in there. Alright, so there it is. Same property. Alright, it's all done. 